Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Terraform modules. We'll learn why do we need Terraform module and in which scenario you should be creating the module to make your Terraform code more professional basically. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you're watching Be Your Learner. Before we start the discussion, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel where you can find hundreds of videos on the topics like Azure, Terraform, DevOps and Kubernetes. Please subscribe and share it with your friends and watch all the available contents. And do let me know if you have any requirement or request to create a video on a specific topic. I'll be more than happy to create one for you. Without getting further delay, let's begin the discussion on our topic. Let's say I have a Terraform configuration written in my main.tf file wherein I'm trying to provision number of different resources into my Azure subscription such as the resource group, virtual network, subnets, storage account, couple of block containers in this storage account and then QALs. So I can write those configuration with the help of Azure RM resource providers in my main.tf file and I should be able to provision the resources without having any issues as such. And that's how you should use the Terraform. There's no confusion about that. Now, let's say if you have a requirement to share this particular code with your team who are willing to create similar type of resources, for example, one of the team willing to cre create another key vault in their project and they want to use your reusable Terraform code to create the Terraform key vault basically to create the Azure key vault. So how do you do that? Question number one. Now, the other question could be or other requirement could be, let's say you have a requirement to create hundreds of virtual machine, hundreds of key vault or storage account or few number of block containers in this storage account. Then how you make your program robust so that it can easily create those number of resources without modifying your code so much and without disturbing any other programs who are referring, which are referring to this particular code. How do you do that? So basically to resolve both the problem or to answer of the, both the questions is you create a reusable code block, which you call it as a module in the Terraform. So Terraform modules are nothing but the reusable code block, which you can call by passing few number of parameters and then those reusable code block will work as is it's working here in the main.tf file. Or, or the other way to understand is if you comes from a programming background as in developer, then Terraform, think Terraform as the method or a function which you might have written in any of your language such as Python, Java, .NET or any other language where you write your reusable block of code into method or function. So Terraform modules are nothing just a reusable code or a function which you can call it by passing the parameter and then it can return certain number of parameters back to you. So let's say in this example we would like to create the storage account which we are creating right here as a resource block. Now I would like to create a module to provision the story account. How do I do that? So to create a module, simply you can create any directory or let's say if I create a directory called begin with m for module and here you can post any Terraform file such as main.tf file. You can have a variable.tf file where you are going to define your variables and you could have the output.tf file if your Terraform module is expected to return any any output basically. I could have a readme file so that I disk I'm going to describe what this particular block of Terraform code will do. Now rather than putting everything here in and directly at the root file, what we can do here is I can 
create a specific resource or logical resource type create storage entity for example this is what the folder i would like to call and then i'll move this particular two files into that folder so this inside this begin folder you can call it any folder usually you can call it any folder and here in that folder i have created my module which i am calling it as a storage entity and here in the main.tf file i could have my code related to the storage account or a storage related resources so here in my main.tf i have a storage account resource block which is basically ex uh, expecting a couple of parameters and then this is the output block uh, which I'll be moving it to the output.tf file. So this is my simple storage account module, same code, but here I'm just requesting a couple of parameters which I have defined already in my variable.tf file. Now, how do you call that particular code block? You can see that this particular the, the block itself has number of parameters, some of them are has the default values, like you, you in the case. Like in the case of a store account, I have the replication account here and the other parameters which are basically optional. So if I do not pass the value of those parameters, it takes the default value. If I pass the value, it basically overwrites the default value. Now to call the parameter or to call the module, what I can do is let me clean up everything here. I can basically just call it as a module and then define the module block, let's say storage. And then you need to provide the parameters, which is uh, we need to pass the source location of your module. So where is my location of the module is begin with M, M for module, and then the folder location, which is the module directory, which I'm trying to call. Now here you need to provide the resource group name, which is one of the parameters which I'm passing. So resource group name, let's say this is the name of the resource group is going to be. You need to pass the location as well, which I know I have it in my module block. Okay. Next you have the name of your storage account. So I could have a storage account with let's say test one, two, three. This is my storage account modules and I could have a number of different tags. So let's say I call it as an environment equals to dev. This is my default tag, which I would like to provision. So this is how you basically call the module by passing the different parameters. So let's begin and run the Terraform code and see if it creates the storage account. For that, if you are Configuring the modules, very first thing you need to do, you need to reinitialize your Terraform block if you haven't already. So let me first run the Terraform init command to initialize the module. So what will happen? It will check for the plugins or the resource providers which the module requires, and then it will download the metadata configuration inside this particular .terraform directory. So if I scroll it down to the .terraform directory, you'll find the metadata information of the modules here in the json format now i'm ready to run the terraform plan this should basically show me the provisioning of the story account with the given name so as you can see here we are basically successfully able to run the terraform plan and it's showing that this is what the story account is going to create with the given parameters as we are not passing the uh, the optional parameter, it's taking the optional values. But if I can pass the optional parameter, and then I would be able to pass from my module calling code. My storage account module is returning some output value, which I can I can take it like this module, then the name of the module dot name, and then the storage account name, something like that. So that will return the storage account name. So this is how simply you can call the module. Uh, just to give the demonstration, I have created the folder with any name, uh, like I have given the name begin uh, with M of M for module, but you can in, in general practice, in the best practice cases, you basically create your module with uh, within the module folder and then 
uh, within the module folder basically you would have the uh, different modules which you would like to create like this which I have created here okay as you can see uh, the output is returning the name of the uh, module which we have returned from the module itself from the output directory from here okay you can call the uh, this particular module number of time and then it will create the number of storage accounts for you if you want to I can simply apply the count block for example if I would like to create uh, five three different number of storage account then I can call it like this dot index if I run it now this should basically create three number of storage account so you can see that it is creating basically four different resource type different resources one is your resource group and other one is three different storage accounts so I have the, uh, by calling the modules three times I am basically able to create the three different storage account so you could call the modules now there is other, another aspect of the modules uh, as in one of the question I have mentioned that what if you would like to create a reusable block of code uh, which you may want to share across the different projects it means that what if you would like to create a module which is shared across the git repository and in, uh, maybe in, uh, into a different repository and want to download the code from that particular repository what if you have such kind of a requirement so what you are going to do with that so in order to connect to the uh, remote repository module here in the source location you need to specify the path of the remote location this this is it about the module in the next section we will discuss what if you have a requirement to connect to the module which is basically created into a remote repository how do you connect to the module from a remote from module of a remote repository what are the different ways to connect with that for now thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends if you haven't already thank you very much